Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So I've been watching these um, videos that has the pearl pores and um, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to try to see if I could do one today. And I have a 14 by 14 canvas and um, the colors that I'm going to be using are this uh, Artist Loft Full Acrylic Black. This is Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta. This is Craft Smart Aqua. And then I have Liquitex Dioxine Purple. And then for my uh, popping color or my pearl color, I've got the 24 karat Extreme Sheen uh, Gold from Deco Art. So we're going to start with that first. And all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water. Um, the gold is a little bit thinner than the other colors that I'm using. And I started off with the black and I wanted to kind of separate the black and the dioxine purple because they're both so dark. So I put the aqua in between those two colors. And then um, only did two layers and then I decided that wasn't enough. So I went with a third layer of colors in the cup and then just pouring them into a tree ring and giving it a little bit of heat before I start trying to move it. And I'm really gently swirling this around. It looks like I'm going to town, but um, I just sped the video up for time's sake. But going around and around. I really want to get the paint stretched before I start going off of the corners. And I think I have lost the magenta, but I'm seeing a weird little creature here in the center. It looks like a skull or an alien. Do y'all see that? Now I'm just seeing crazy things. I don't know, but um, let's see if we can't stretch him away. <laughs> I'm gonna keep tilting, going over the corners. And um, hopefully our boogeyman or whatever he is uh, goes away. I still see him. <laughs> and at this point, I'm more concerned about what's going on in the center of my canvas. And I didn't even see the gold was starting to pop through with the little pearls. But we're not done yet. <laughs> So I'm going to stretch a little bit more. And he's still there. <laughs> All right, let's try to go this direction and see if we can't move him and blend him in. Starting to get some more of the little gold pearls popping through. And there. I think he's gone. <laughs> at least I hope he is at this point. And I'm getting some really good cells that's popping up. I like that for those little pearls. I really wished I had had some more of the magenta and the aqua in there. But um, I'm really liking the way those... The gold is popping through like that. It's really cool. So I'm going to do a little bit of touch up around the edges. Make sure that I got everything covered all around the um, sides of the canvas. And then we're going to let it sit for a little bit and 
come back and check out and see if we have um, made a ring of these little golden pearls that's popping through. Just putting a little bit of heat on them. And they really are popping through a lot. Except for that upper right hand corner. A little bit over to the left hand corner and then down in the bottom right hand corner. So not a whole lot. But while I was doing that, I have one little eyeball that's popped up here in the center. <laughs> one little golden pearl right in the center of the canvas where that creature was. He's coming back to life. <laughs> Trying to put it up close so you can see it. But uh, see if I can get some light from a different angle. Maybe you can see. Right there it is. See it? Looks weird. I don't know. I don't know if Creature Man left or not. But we're going to let it set and just see what happens. And uh, starting to notice something also weird. The shape of the pearls are changing. They're not staying round. They're looking more like uh, footprints, maybe? I don't know. Um, leaves, something. They're, they're not staying in a circular pattern. Not the ones that are closest to the center of the canvas. So, And I had a couple places on the upper um, side of the canvas that didn't have any paint. So I want to make sure that I got that covered up. And then I want to um, wipe underneath the edge uh, to make sure that it stops the drawing and the pulling of the paint over the edges of the canvas. So, but it's unusual. I don't think I've seen anybody else's get these weird little patterned um, pearls. Pearls means they're supposed to stay round. <laughs> I'm not getting round here. Uh, I don't know what I've got. But anyways, let's let it set for a minute and uh, see what else comes up. Okay, it's been about um, 30 minutes that I've let this set. And you can see all the developments of the gold pearls, except for at the top corner in the left hand corner. A little bit down the bottom there's not much, but in the center there's now two eyeballs. See that? <laughs> and look at the shapes of the pearls that goes around it. it it's, it's round and then in the center there's a different shape. Looks like bats <laughs> or birds. I don't know something. It's just totally, totally unusual. Haven't had one um, ever give me weird looking. <laughs> and I'm trying to adjust the light so that you can um, see it better. There. Bring this one forward a little bit better so you can see. Um, I do have a little bit of the aqua that has uh, come through that a little bit better and um, the dioxin purple, but I don't see a single drop of the magenta anywhere. <laughs> so I think it is gone, gone, gone. But I don't know. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, what do you see? in this. It's just spooky to me. I don't know. I don't do spooky too well. So this was a total surprise. I bet if I did the same thing again 
and poured it, mixed all my paints just like I did before and tilted it and everything, I could never recreate this painting. So I kind of don't want to uh, scrape it just for that fact. I don't think I could ever recreate it. But just let me know how you think about it. And um, leave me uh, comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. If you've liked this video, if you've enjoyed seeing the spook come out in my painting, please click like and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now and ring that bell so you get notified when I upload future videos. And um, everything that I use will be in the description box below this video. And I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you.